All right, guys. This uh, today I'm gonna be uh, calibrating my TPMS. Uh, this is on my uh, Yaris that uh, I recently uh, did the uh, changes uh, to the uh, tire. Where I installed a, a new tire, removed the old one using a uh, manual tire changer, and then I installed a new TPMS because one of the TPMS sensors pretty much died. Uh, so I might as well I replace all four and then of course this TPMS light is up So this is where you're gonna have to use a specific type of software to basically recalibrate it. So This would be the software that you're using is text stream And so at this point what you do is you're gonna connect your vehicle and what you do is you you, uh, you Use the USB cord that has an OBD2 sensor. You can get it online. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it right now Anyways, as it connects, it's gonna start building what the uh, body is. So in this case, it pops up everything that is uh, for the vehicle. Just click next, and then it'll take you to the uh, the next steps. You just have to wait for it. So I'm just gonna skip forward, and I'll, I'll pause this. Okay. Now that you're here, basically what you're gonna do is you click on the uh, tire pressure monitor, which is right here. I can get my mouse there and you hit next it initializes and this is where you want to make sure that you have all basically from here you're gonna basically go to utility and you want to do ID registration This is where it's going to allow you to put in the codes and then yeah, it allows it to talk to the, uh, uh, the ECM. So make sure you have the numbers and it looks like it's starting to rain so I'm going to try to do this quick. Uh, let me hit next. Uh, next. And next. Alright. From here, you're gonna have to have the codes, and every time you put in the code, you have to hit next. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it. So this is the last one that I need to put in. Hit next. From here, registration is complete. Exit. So from here, you know you want to check. What you do is you go to data list, and it's gonna pull it up. And again, you want to make sure you have all your sensors in. So, let me see, it's raining, so that's why I'm trying to hurry up. All right, and you see all the pressures, all the tires right there? There it is, it's reading all the sensors. And there are the codes right there, as you can see them. Uh, I'll put my finger to it right there, okay? And these are the pressures that it's reading. So, what you can see is that the TPMS light has uh, disappeared at that point, okay? Sorry. So. Moving forward, if you did have a tire with a spare, uh, what happens is, uh, see this highlighted area? That's where you would put that uh, code on uh, the tires, the amount of tires back in that uh, initial slides that you saw. That's where you put that code. You put five instead of four. And again, that would be the fifth tire sensor. So uh, otherwise, other than that, your TPMS light should have been off like what I showed you. Hopefully this helped you guys out. And other than that, um, uh, have a good day. Any suggestions or anything, feel free to always put in there. All right. Uh, other than that, take care. Bye.